and welcome back to Let's Play Half My Hero 2. Well, one more of the Venus. You look familiar. Huh. Really? Well, okay. So, yeah, we can buy a time stone from the totally not dark goddess. How much of our money did you take that you need to start doing this? But fine. Uh, we'll buy a time stone. Ooh, I do kind of... Actually, no, that staff kind of sucks. Never mind. Alright, well, we got a time stone. Let's go see who we can revive. Wow, we can buy a lot of summon stones. Shame I hate summon stones, so we're not going to use them. Uh, let's see. There should be a pedestal. There it is. What do we got? Oh, we got everyone from uh, Yushia's campaign. You're all taking this very well. Athena's still a jerk, but oh well. Alright, let's get out of here. So yeah, we can use them now. Actually, I don't really want to use them. Uh, I think I'm just going to stick with this party. You know, the party that doesn't create a time paradox. But anyways, let's move on. This should be the last of the Venus 7. And she's dedicated to making very bad music. I'm not sure if that could be considered music, but okay. Yeah, she just said that. Oh yeah, you two kind of do have a music theme. Alright, so, let's do this. And her giant stages are everywhere. We're gonna need to stop by there before we head to the castle. Alright, so, first things first. Let us get some experience and some money. Oh, thank god I brought Angel. But anyways, so, what do you think about the music? How do you pronounce that? So basically, run into the music notes. If you miss, it'll hurt. And by hurt, I mean it'll take away your money and your levels. Alright, so, let's go do this. So yeah, we need to stop by all the stages and basically hit all the notes. Otherwise, it will hurt us. So let's do this. Alright, at least one note. So yeah, she'll basically just throw, throw them into these circles here. It's pretty easy. At least for now. Ooh, cat fight. Oh, no cat fight. But anyways. That's one stage down. Let's move on to the next. Although I kind of want to wait until I can reset time. Just because these stages might take a little while. Oh, I'm out of health. I should probably fix that. Uh, let's just get more time now. There we go. That just... Wait, three times? Actually, no. That's not three times the size, is it? Actually, no, it is. Never mind. There are six circles. At least five. Got it. Also, wait, no, there's only... Oh, I think someone... One of them went through. Ah! Nope. Okay, I think we got them all. We missed, like, two of them. Also, who says cool beans? Ooh, did you just say present? Yeah, I think the last one is technically optional. So we should probably go do that. And we didn't lose that much money, did we? 
I think you actually get money for hitting notes, so it kind of all balances out. Also, fire chickens. Why are there fire chickens in the area? I, ooh. I will take that. Also, we need more time. And some health, and let's go to the last stage. But yeah, I don't think you actually have to do this one, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Also, it's not that hard. Alright, at least 15. Luckily, this stage is a lot smaller, so it's kind of hard to miss everything. Oh, ow, that one- nope, that's two. That's three. Oh, I died. Uh, yeah. Those ones kind of hurt. Let's try that again. Actually, let's get more time before we do that. Oh my god, we took a big experience boot or deficit from that. Let's get our levels back. Alright, we're stronger than evil again. We should be good. Uh, let's get some more health and try again. Hopefully this time we won't die. Yeah, I know, 15. Alright, just gotta pay attention. Careful. No. Okay, she's getting faster. And we're running out of time! I kinda died on purpose there, just so I can get more time. Oh, uh, that stage takes forever. Well, we only have one try left. I probably could have done that if I, uh, if we actually had time. Alright, let's get a full 30 seconds and just run there. Alright, this is our last chance to try this. But I think we got it. Also, the leveling up thing is kind of blocking my view. Come on. Hurry up. I don't have time for this. Thank you. Well, we finished it. And we have five seconds left. We should probably head back to the village and get more time. And we got a microphone? Okay, I do I'll look at it in a second. Okay. Uh, I think that's supposed to be a microphone. Well, let's go beat her up with her own weapon. Luckily, she's not too hard. Although, I think she's gonna try singing to us. Huh. I expected something more horrible. And with that, the Venus 7 are gone. Now only one person remains, hopefully. Unless she decides to summon even more gods. Oh, hey, there you are. But, but I like number 30. Also, we're in a new continent. We'll take a look at it once we get to the world map. So yeah, welcome to the final continent. Also, yeah, where is number 30? There she is. So yeah, one final stage. We will do that in a second. Actually, we might as well do that next time because this is a long stage. Instead, let's head back for a second. Because now that the Venus 7 are dead, we should have unlocked that final area. There we go, the final optional dungeon. Uh, all the doors should be open now. And right now we're strong enough to actually take on all the enemies without worrying about dying. Actually, wait, what's my class right now? 
I want to make sure I'm the right class because I'm using a rod. Let's see. No, where is it? Yeah, it is a uh, mage. Okay, fine. We'll be a mage. But anyways, let's go see those locked doors we couldn't access earlier. Problem is, I don't really remember where they are. Uh, I think there's one down here. Let's see. Yep, that's a door. And now we can open it. And inside... Uh, here's that switch we were looking for earlier. So that should have unlocked the rest of the dungeon. So let's head down the other path now. Whatever's at the end better be worth it. Probably a weapon. Although a new weapon would be nice right now. Although I do have my microphone. Actually, I'm still not sure if it's really a microphone, but whatever. Uh, let's see. I think it's the bottom stairs I want. Also, dragons. They're all dead. Alright, let's see. Uh, there's a door over here. And a skeleton. Hi, actually, I'm just gonna kill you. Ah, uh, healing spot. I guess that's useful. Actually, no, that is pretty useful. Although, right now we're strong enough that we don't really have to worry about damage too much. Oh, well. And inside... Ooh, we got the God Eater? Huh. Well, that could be useful. Let's see if there's anything else in the dungeon we can get. After all, we are going to be kind of taking on a God. This. Soon. Something that kills gods would be pretty good. Also, we still have to do the underground arena. We'll do that once I go out and actually save my... Not save, but make sure I actually get to keep the sword. Because if you die in the arena, it counts as dying in the dungeon. And that means we'll have to go back and get the sword if we do. So let's just leave for a second. Plus, I want to change my class again. I am now a swordsman. Also, can we build anything? We could build stuff, but I don't really want to. Let's see. That should be good. Uh, let me just check my equipment real quick. Yep, that's the God Eater. And it's a special skill. Oh, speaking of skills, what do I have equipped right now? Uh, Critical Striker. Let's see. What else can I equip? Let's just put on Lightning Striker. Heal up. And let's go try the dungeon. Or not the dungeon. The uh, Colosseum again. This time we shouldn't die so hor horribly. Hopefully. No promises. Although I do have an herb, and we're like two levels higher. Although by the end of the game, our level's gonna be skyrocketing. Yes, we are gonna do this. Again. Alright, hopefully this time we can make it through, like, I think we only made it, like, through two rounds last time. Well, zombies! Oh, well, that wasn't too bad. Shame we don't get experience from these. Well, ghosts! I always thought the ghosts are adorable. I mean, just look at them. Well, you could have looked at them, I, although I kind of killed them pretty quickly. Uh, what are you again? Skull Knight. That's right. I should probably heal at some point. Or not. Oh. Oh yeah, I remember you. We died against you last time. Also, that's Rising Nova. It's kind of good. And I think that's armor or shield. I'm not sure. Nope, armor. You're not wearing a t-shirt, but with that, we are the champion of the Underground Arena. Uh, I don't remember where the last one is. I think it's actually in the next area. But with that, let's get out of here before we die. Kinda wanna keep this armor. Let's 
Let's see. Let's just take a quick look at it. There it is. Mighty Protector. It's better than whatever we had. So, yeah, let's keep it. Although the Power Loincloth does have better attack. Okay, so this game needs to stop crashing. But anyways, I think actually we're going to do one more stage before we end it. Just because there are a couple of stages before the final area. And we might as well get them out of the way. Also, the Dark Time Goddess may have just made herself a giant robot. Okay, technically it's a giant statue, but still. Also, she made it out of gold. I guess that's where all her money went. Also, don't you need humans to give the statues money for you to make money? So yeah. We need to get in there before everyone turns into statues. Not really sure how she's doing that, but okay. Uh, catch 22. How, where did that phrase even come from? Alright, so basically we need to find some way to get inside the statue itself. Yeah, we should probably go see them before they, uh, turn in the statues. So yeah, let's go do that. But first, like always, let's get money. Money is especially important in this stage. Money and experience. Alright, that should be good. Let's go to the, uh, village. Huh. Well, she wasn't lying. That didn't take long. And this is why you're going to need money. Also, yeah, that doesn't really make much sense. Aren't we just doing what she wants us to do, but fine. Uh, so yeah, we need to pay them money to turn them back into humans. It's about 25 gold each. Uh, are you the food guy? You are. How did she turn your stand into do a statue too? Alright, let's buy an herb. Uh, we're good. Let's go to the other village. We should probably turn everyone back, because... It's the right thing to do. Also, we should move it before we get hit. Ooh, use beer. Uh, food. Let's see. Does anyone know how to get inside? Ooh. Huh. That might be helpful, actually. Also, that's glowing armor. Uh, it's not as good as what I have, but it glows. Who cares? Also, I want that lance. Also, we got stilts. Well, I guess that's one way into the statue. Holy crap, these are really tall stilts. Alright, let's get in there in a second. But first, let's get some experience. Oh my god, we move quickly with these. Alright, uh, I want spear. Also, I need more money. There we go. Alright, let's get inside that statue. This looked a lot taller on the world map. But yep, with those we can get is- oh my god. That's a lot of statues. Also, couldn't number three just fly us inside? So yeah. We can tell this is the uh, time goddess's ship. She's kind of obsessed with herself. And by kind of, I mean, holy crap, there's a lot of goddess statues. Also, these ones. We can pay them. And it makes a move. So, yeah, we're gonna need a pair way through. Which kind of makes sense for, you know, whose dungeon this is. Alright, let's just move all these out of the way while I still have money. Uh, let's go up this way. Also, we're gonna need to go back and turn back time. Unfortunately, there are plenty of enemies in here, so we can keep getting money. Just so we can give it back to the time goddess. Anyways, more time, please. Thank you. Alright, let's go. So we opened up the path up here. Alright, let's keep paying. Also, that's a wheel. Hey there. 
I'm gonna make sure we can move this thing. Hey, you think you stood a chance. But with that, we kind of have control of the thing now. Alright, with that, this thing should have moved. Also, we need to kind of get that statue, that uh, chest. There we go. Gold Rush. Also, I kind of want more time. There we go. Alright, let's go do this. We need to leave. Also, we gotta go an herb at some point. Actually, wait, we didn't look this way yet, did we? No, same way, never mind. Let's get out of here. Let's engage. Although, I don't think we're actually strong enough yet, so let's kill a few th Actually, wait, we never came here. They ooh. Did you just say legs? I want legs. We got power legs. I'll put those on the castle as soon as I can. Let's get a bit more money. And let's get the castle powered up a bit by killing some stuff. Alright, that should be good. Uh, a bit more time. And let's do this. Time for a robot v robot fight. A technically giant statue versus giant castle fight. Also, we're missing our legs here. Also, we spent over a thousand gold in your castle. I think we paid enough. giant gold statue out of the way. Yeah, it was expensive. It was made of, like, solid gold. I don't know. That was actually pretty easy. Alright, let's do this. So, a couple more stages before we can hit her. Actually, I'm pretty sure her desire is for money. You know, I'm sure if we just paid her enough, she'll stop, but okay, fine. And with that, I think we'll end the episode. So, next time on Let's Play Half Made Hero 2... Actually, wait. Before we do that... Uh, wait, we got a new thing. One second. New weapon, uh, who cares about uh, weapon crafting? We got a new pair of legs. Uh, power legs. Huh, that, that's not bad. But anyways, next time on Let's Play Half Made Hero, we'll continue heading towards the Dark Goddess. Not too much longer now. So, till then.